Shalom, shalom. <clears throat> Say call halal, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakaf Dash. Double honor to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole of Israel. Today I want to go into uh on how the on how the Heavenly Father and the Son only loves Israel, you know. Upon uh, you know, upon all the earth. Yahweh Bashem Shai only cares about the Israelites. The Lord has never cared about none of the other nations on the earth, even though he made them. Israel was supposed to be the, the people to, to teach the rest of the nations the ways of, of Yahweh Bashem Shai. In other words, we were made to be the rulers, and they were made to be ruled over. So I'm going to start off first in Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word, Yahweh, by Shemihah Shai, has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, the whole nation, which I brought up from the land of Egypt. He didn't bring up, he didn't bring up Edom, he didn't bring... He didn't bring up Moab, not Ammon, not Elam, none of them. He brought up, he said, the, ch the children of Israel. He brought up out of the land of Egypt. And everybody should know that story by now. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of all the nations of the earth. Is the Lord, is the Lord saying he doesn't know anything about the nations he created? No, he's saying... You only have I known. You only have I have I dealt with personally. You know, on a one-on-one -on -one level of the earth. You only have I known of of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Why? Why is the Lord going to punish us for all our iniquities? Because the laws was given to us to follow. The, the, the laws weren't given to to everybody else. When uh, when when you ha when you how was dealing with uh with Moses for those forty days and forty nights, giving him the law, statutes, and commandments, man. He he went back to the children of Israel, man, to tell to to teach them, along with his brother Aaron. They was they were to they were to teach uh, Israel uh, the ways to be a Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. Predominantly uh, Moses, because uh, Yahweh dealt with Moses one on one. At that time, he he was dealing with Moses more than anyone out out of the children of Israel. So the next scripture I'm gonna get is in Second Idris. Second. Idris 5, starting at 27. And among all the multitudes of people, that has gotten thee one people, and unto this people, whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. <laughs> what did I, you know, what I, you know, what I just finished saying, man? He gave. He gave who he Yahweh Bashim Yahushai gave who the laws, man. He gave he gave he gave the children of Israel the laws through Moses. You no, know, back in the time of Adam, you know, we had them orally. But then, uh, then, of course, years upon years later, we the Lord delivered us out of our captivity in Egypt through through Moses. And uh. He gave Moses uh, this law, statutes, and commandments, man, to to deal to deal with us on a, on on that level, man. Because Yahweh, by Shimei, of course, himself wasn't gonna 
deal with all of Israel the way he was dealing with Moses. Cause they wasn't, first of all, they wasn't deserving, man. Especially considering all that murmuring they was doing against Moses. The Moses even told the Most High, man, why, why, why you have me dealing with these people, man? And, you know, even when, when Moses is up there, you know, with, with Yahweh, man, you know, doing his job, the thing he was supposed to be doing, Israel was too busy making a golden calf. <laughs> and the Lord saw that, man. And the Lord told Moses, hey, man, step aside. He told Moses to step aside so he could destroy the children of Israel <laughs> and bring them back through him. But Moses M Moses pleaded with Yahweh, with Yahweh by Shem HaShai and, sit and, and, asked, and told him, you know, what about what about the covenant, you know? What about the promise that you promised to our, to my, to our forefathers? <laughs> and and uh, the Lord repented of himself. And he, uh, he, 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 he came back in the rem remembrance of that, man, basically saying, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He said, so he, the Lord calmed himself, man. That just goes to show, you know, how wicked, how wicked Israel is. That's, that's, it's apparent that we are the people of the scriptures, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And all these tribes on the left side, which are true names of our people. And in the, the by words, the proverbs and the by words, which we are called today, on the right side, but right side of this chart, man. It's apparent that we are the people of this book. Because if you look up, all these people on the right side are modern day names that the, that Esau has given us to cover our true heritage. You will see that these people are in great poverty and distress and tribulation, man, to this day. So it's apparent that we we fit these curses in this book. And can't nobody gang say against that. Because they're not going through what these people are going through today, man. Deuteronomy, I'm going to back up uh, second edge uh, 5 and 27 with this Deuteronomy. Seven and six. The Lord, the Lord said He loveth us. Back in the uh, second Edges five and twenty-seven, man. This is uh, Deuteronomy seven and six. For thou, let me see, Salakia. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. For thou art an holy people, unto the Yahweh Bashim Hashem thy power, the the Lord thy God. Yahweh Bashim Hashem thy power has chosen thee. To be a special people unto himself. He, <laughs> the Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. A special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. <laughs> I'm going to reread that man. For thou art an holy people unto Yehobashim Hashem thy power. Yahweh Bashim Hashem, thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Hey, the Lord, the Lord chose us, man. The Lord put His name on Israel, and what you see on the, on this picture, you so-called Negroes, man, y'all are the head tribe of the nation of Israel, man. And, and, and through the spirit, I believe I'm a Judite. You know, no, no telling. What, even though I, what I look like on the outside, I could be another tribe. But you know, my, the, the name of my channel, man. Uh, the, the 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 last name that you see on my channel, what you would perceive to be a last name, of my on my channel, Yahweh. That's how you say Judah. In in, in the Hebrew, man, Yahweh. The the heavenly Father put His name on Israel, man. And and I don't have to tell. I don't have to go into detail what what you so called Negroes alone do to this day, man. You can look it up on World Starting. You'll see our people all throughout it, man. Even on YouTube, anywhere you can walk down the street and see the nonsense our people do, man. 
It's ridiculous. And for that, man, you two-thirds, man, y'all gonna y'all gonna get put to death, man. The Lord not gonna have mercy on you niggas. That goes for the rest of you the uh, rest of you tribes of Israel as well, man. The Lord is not gonna have mercy on you, Jakes, man. Because y'all refuse to turn back to Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. And that's fine. Because Yahweh by Shem Shah ain't gonna do this gonna destroy you. And he gonna get he gonna save his elect. And uh, y'all gonna have to come back through his elect. Let me get to the next scripture just to show that, you know. You know, if this, this is just to show what would happen if all Israel, which goes to show that another thing that goes to show that all Israel is wicked, being hella wicked right now. So those, 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 those damn uh, uh, Amalekites over there in our holy land of Israel, that goes to show that them niggas are not the people of Israel. Because right now the people of Israel are not supposed to be in their land. They're supposed to be uh, all over the world being hella wicked right now. The, the vast majority, anyway. Oh, this is 2 Chronicles. Let me get 2 Chronicles. Second. This is 2 Chronicles. This is 2 Chronicles 7, chapter starting at 14. If my people, which are called by my name, Yahweh, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. The Lord said he's going to hear from heaven. He's going to hear from, he from the throne, man. In the spirit world, he going to hear us like he heard us in Egypt. Now, the Lord, of course, the Lord is hearing us now, but it's a waiting period. <clears throat> hear from, I will hear, then I would hear from heaven and forgive their sin and will heal their land. He'll, he going to heal our land and heal us, man. He going to remove them damn Jewish rats out of our land, man. And he'll set us, he'll set us back over there. And then the Lord was the Lord's talking about all of Israel. If all of Israel right now was just to get in line, turn to the east, and pray to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man, all a hundred percent of Israel was to do that right now, the Heavenly Father would flood the skies with chariots, man, and move us out of this captivity, and He'll place us back in the Holy Land, man. And Yahweh Shah will come back and 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 do and swiftly uh, put these other nations under His foot. That's that's what the how about how Shah would do for us, man. But 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 our people can't won't do nothing for you how about Shah. That's why that's why that's why the men of Lord Lord when I be one of those men, because I'm 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 just, I'm just rehearsing the acts of what uh, what uh men of the Lord would be doing, man. And that's preaching the word. If if the Lord was to do that for us, man. It'd be out of this world. People wouldn't even know. What to, people would just die from the uh, the sight of the chariots, man. But but Israel won't do that for you. How about Shimei Hashem, man? And it's crazy. The Lord have y'all ass waking up every day to do y'all damn folly. But y'all y'all can't find and seek the Lord with in diligently, man. Cause y'all know damn well going to them little wick those wicked ass churches, that man. Them harlot houses. That ain't that ain't that ain't seeking the Lord, man. They don't be talking about a damn thing in those churches. But y'all y'all get y'all ass up every damn Sunday morning, and y'all go to those fucking churches. The truth is out there about those damn churches, man. But y'all continue to do what y'all want to do. And hey, hey, when you how about you, how is I come, man? Don't say his name, man. Keep going on to the God and Jesus Christ. Don't say yeah. Don't say. Don't even utter the word, the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. Let me get the let me get this next scripture in Isaiah. Just to just to prove that the other nations don't mean nothing to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. The Lord loves you, Israel. 
You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. He loves you. This is Isaiah. 40 and 15. Behold, the nations, now of course not Israel, the, behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. <laughs> behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. The Lord said, "You nations are as a drop to a, of a bucket. So you walking around with a with a bucket of water, and a and a drop of water hits the ground. You're not gonna. I, I said this in one of my previous lessons. You're not gonna know this is what this is the scripture I was talking about. See, look at the Lord, man. Hey, you <laughs> you nations mean nothing to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. And if you ask who is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that's who you ignorant call God and Jesus Christ, man." Yahweh, who you call God, and Yahweh Shah, who you call Jesus Christ. You don't mean nothing to them, man. Nothing. The Heavenly Father only cares about Israel. He only loves Israel. No matter just how, how wicked they ass is, he still loves y'all to an extent. He gonna, and, he, the, and when he kill y'all, you two-thirds, that's going to be a mercy killing. Because y'all right now, y'all really out y'all damn mind. Uh, it's like him. Uh, at least you know it or not, y'all not in y'all right mind. But when you when you die and you go back to the spirit world, you gonna be in your you gonna be in remembrance, man. You gonna be in your right mind. You gonna be looking on damn all the things you did on the earth, and you gonna be sorrowful, man. But that's that's the right spirit you should be in, cause you you not following the law, statutes, and commandments. So you how about shit, man? How was shot, man? And that's a various, very, very, very dangerous tight rope to walk on, man. Uh, how the scripture go? It's a, it's a fearful thing to, to fall into the hand, uh, hand of the Lord. Or the, uh, it's, like, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hand of the Almighty. <laughs> it's a fearful thing to fall in the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. He, he could put you through a lot of things. It's, it's, it's a lot worse of things than death, man. A lot worse things than death. Like they be saying in those TV shows and movies. The worst things than death. That's real life. But I'm going to continue. I'm going to reread that though. This is uh, Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold the nations are as a drop of a bucket. And are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold he taketh up the aisles as a very little thing. I'm going to drop down to 17. All nations before him are as nothing. All nations before him are as nothing. And they are counted to him least less than nothing. <laughs> now the brothers always laugh at this, man. I laughed at it. I laughed at it when I first heard it, man. How can you be counted less than nothing, man? The Lord, the Lord loves the beast of the field more than these other nations, man. Hey, how can you be less than nothing? The Lord, I'm gonna reread that. All nations before Him are as nothing; and they are counted to Him less than nothing in vanity. If you don't know what the word vanity is, look it up. You know that's 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 crazy, man. You other nations, y'all really think y'all something. Y'all really think y'all y'all got to how y'all are today by y'all selves, man. Especially you fucking Edomites. Y'all don't have y'all not. Y'all wasn't born with the spirit of faith, you know, the, the gift of faith. So so y'all just threw all around. But you other nations, I, I, y'all niggas, y'all niggas got that because you how about Shem how shot set y'all up, man. He just he set y'all up and he gave y'all. Our rulership to rule over us, man, because we were gonna be scattered throughout the world. So we we've been we just been getting punished. We in a 
we in time out, basically. That's all that Israel is. We in time out. Hey, but hey, soon that, that time out is going to end, man. Hey, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Yahweh was going to send his son back to uh, to deliver us. Hence what Yahweh Shah means. Yahweh Shah means he is the deliverer. And Yahweh means he is. I mean, he is in all things. He is omnipotent. He's all powerful. You know? Just like you. You know, he's not. He, y'all niggas didn't get where y'all are today by y'all own will, man. And ain't no such thing as free will. And that's what a, a, a lot of these people on this earth don't realize, man. Hey, when, when the day of the Lord comes, man, and it's, it's going to be terrible, man. For the, for the small visions Yahweh Bashim HaShah has given me of the tribulation that's going to come in the near days and going to be nothing. It, it, it was, man, they, it frightened me, man. It moved me to continue into this. And that was that was about a year and a half ago, man. And it, it moved me to continue to this, man. That that, that, that vision, those, those visions, my first vision moved me, you know, to, to stop. All the wicked acts that I was doing, man. Hey, but y'all gonna realize that it's a, it's a power gonna be doing these things in the great in the day of the day of the Lord, man. Y'all gonna be seeking the men, the men that y'all saw on those highways and byways preaching the word. Hey, but hey, but we gonna we gonna be already sealed up somewhere, man. That for for uh. For doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Hashem, Yahweh Bashim Hashem is gonna protect us, man. When we call on Him in that day, even if we die, we gonna be, hey, we gonna be resurrected first. We gonna be on those ships with Yahweh with Yahweh man. We gonna be good all around, man. So either way, we good. All we gotta do is continue the faith until the end, and we'll be all right, Lord willing. We can do that. Well, let's I'm jump right into my next scripture. And oh yeah, just to go in the show that you you nations didn't you nations not nothing, man. Y'all didn't do this on y'all own accord. Y'all think it's take y'all just took us down. <laughs> Come on, man. By y'all own selves? Y'all niggas are crazy. It's Deuteronomy twenty eight and twenty five. <clears throat> the Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies, who are our enemies, the other nations, man. If you don't know that, go read go read the history. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them. Seven ways is just a number. This is a complete number. That's what seven really seven means in the scriptures, man. It's a complete number of ways we were gonna flee before them. This is mainly talking about uh the seventy AD when uh those damn Romans came and sacked the temple. It's like me, I can drink. <clears throat> but nevertheless, it can also go in and, uh, when we fell out of power back in the uh, in the Dark Ages, when the nations really really started to rule over us, man. When after years, and when the Renaissance started to start. And even and uh, at this time we were, we fell out of power hard, man, because the Lord sent that black plague over us and killed a lot of us. So we good, so we could be taken over by the other nations. <clears throat> but look how far it has. Our people have been beaten t so low, man, over the years. Like I said, you see the people. You pull up these people on the right side of this. Of this chart, these people ain't got nothing, man. You know they they got us these these weak ass flags or whatever. Hey, but anywhere we are in the world, man, that's the lowest. We the lowest of the totem pole, and through the curses, that's where we're supposed to be. So I'm gonna read, I'm gonna continue to read this. Yahweh Bashim Hashem shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them. And flee seven ways before them, and shall be removed. It's like it. And shall be, <clears throat> shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. 
Just say we should not. We shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Look at all. Look at look at where we're at today, man. We're not. We're not in Israel anymore. The, look, these all these people on this chart are scattered throughout the whole earth. We we not together as one like we used to be, man. And that just goes to show that we obviously the people of this book. More proof. And you really can't gang say against it because it all makes sense. See, when you get, when that people like to add myth mythology to to the scriptures, man. There's nothing mythical about this book. There there is no there's not one damn myth in this book. A myth is just basically basically a lie, a made up story. There's not one made up story in the scriptures, man. Not one. They ain't, <laughs> you niggas just don't understand, bro. Y'all take logic out of the scriptures. And ultimately, Esau did that so he could sway the people's mind, man. Because Esau don't care about this book. As long as he keeping you niggas, Latinos, and Native Americans from understanding this book, it's all good. Because <laughs> he know he really can't do nothing with the book. But but you, but you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, you Israelites can do something with this book, man. You learn the true name and you start doing the things... And the, that's good in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Like it said in, in Second Chronicles, seventh chapter. Hey, the Lord will fl hey, the Lord will will, will, uh, will save us, man, and take us back to our holy land. This is uh, uh mm. Oh yeah, man. Say this is this is this is what's gonna be said. In the kingdom of Israel, you know, once all once all is said and done, once Yahweh shall come back and he put these nations under his foot, like it, like it, like his father Yahweh told him he would do, sit at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Hey, when the, when the Lord come back and do this, this is what is going to be said in the kingdom. This is Jeremiah twenty three and seven. Therefore, behold, the days come, said Yahweh by Shem Shah. That they shall no more say, the Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But Yahweh, but Yahweh, by Shem Shah liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, out of North America, and from all countries, whether I had driven them. And they shall dwell in their own land. That's self-explanatory, man. Hey, we on just like now. We the people still talk about the deliverance out of out of the land of Egypt. Uh, some believe believe that they were false because they don't know who the people were. But you should know by now, man. This truth is getting pushed harder than it's ever been pushed before. Now, no, now, now, now that you know. Who those people were? Hey, this is this just goes to show what what's gonna happen in the near future, man. And by the way, these these prophecies are, are hitting so hard, man. It's gonna happen sooner rather than later, man. So I don't expect to be old and gray uh, in America, man, because it's not gonna happen. Yeah, about Shem Hal is gonna come back, man. Hey, I, I, no, I don't have it. We don't know one has to date with the Heavenly Father, man. We gonna, we gonna have, we gonna wait, and we gonna have faith in your how about Shimmy how it shine to that day, man. I'm gonna end it off on this next one, man. <clears throat> Blessed be 
Yahweh, by Shimei Yahweh Shai, power of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. And that's a, that's a near, that's, that's sooner rather than later, man. Lord willing. Hey, just have, hey, brothers have faith in Yahweh, by Shimei Yahweh Shai, and keep pushing this word. And for you ones that's not, you know, that's not capable of, capable of teaching, man, just listen and learn, man. And have faith in how about Shemeh HaOshah, that he deliver you out of this place with your life, <laughs> rather than not your life. And with that, man, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem and Kakwadah, the honors to my elders and apostle, Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the whole elect of Israel, man. Shalom. On to the next one.